Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the new Nestle drumstick. This is called Cookie Dips. They were $4.79 at Kroger, and you get four frozen dairy dessert cones in the box. So I'm gonna let you open that. So this is called Cookie Dipped. We actually tried one. Uh, we tried a uh, Butterfinger Dipped, but we also tried one called Crushed It. Now, crushed it had, um, it said melt in your mouth crushed cookie coating. So I wonder what the difference between, broken up. oh, that one's already broken. That one is too a little bit. Yeah. Um, so the difference, so the difference between this and the crushed it, it says uh, crispy sugar cone, rich chocolatey lining, chocolatey uh, nugget at the bottom dipped in chocolatey cookie coating, delicious and creamy vanilla center. So that crushed it, I remember it had a very distinct like texture. texture on the outside. It was like crushed cookie, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. This does not look like that. No, this looks like chocolate. Cookie dip. Okay, so it these started at the 1904 World's Fair. Oh, cool. An ice cream maker ran out of bowls. He asked a nearby waffle vendor to roll waffles into cones, turning them into finger food. That was how the waffle ball started. Then, in 1928, the Parker brothers took this great invention even further by adding chocolate coating topped with nuts. So that was in 1928 when you got the drumstick. These are 280 calories each. Go ahead. Go ahead. The chocolate's a little softer than a traditional. Mm -hmm. I don't really get cookies. Like it's supposed to be cookies I get dough. crunchy pieces here and there. Yeah, but I don't get cookie dipped. You would think there's like a lot more cookie there. You don't get a lot. Uh-uh. There's a few little crunchy pieces here and there. I don't I'm even know. I'm glad you ate all the chocolate on the top. There's more. Uh -huh. I don't even know how they can say that's as No, new. I mean, there's a couple of little pieces of cookie, like, crushed up in there. I would much rather have a traditional drumstick with mm -hmm. peanuts on top of it. Mm -hmm. Then the even if they coated the top like they do with the peanuts, like mm -hmm. there's a lot of peanuts on the top, this one's really not coated very much. With I mean, it's chocolate. That's it. Even though it's a frozen dairy dessert, I do like the flavor of the vanilla. Oh yeah. And I do really like the flavor of that chocolate on the outside. Um, but I got very few actual like cookie pieces. They should have, it should have been like all over the top. Yeah, like, like the, like the crushed ones were. Though. Yes, the crushed Because it was literally coated in like crushed yes. cookies. This is not the same as the crushed it. I honestly, I would rather have the crushed it mm -hmm. because yes, it, it was, was the entire thing was coated. This, they could have done so much more. They could have totally dipped that whole vanilla pit part into cookies and then <laughs> dipped it in chocolate. Instead, that's not what they did. It's like they just put like a couple of pieces on the top. Yeah, like sprinkles. So for me, yes, they're new, but they're they're not, not bad. New. They're not bad, but I there's uh, there's just too many the, other ones. Out of the two, I think I'd much rather have just the traditional with the peanuts on top. Right. We um, I looked on my channel to see what drumsticks we had. had. We had the Dulce de Leche. We had Banana Split. The Butterfinger dipped, which in that box, it came with chocolate, Butterfinger, and Butterfinger fudge. We had a peppermint and peppermint fudge and chocolate peppermint. That was out at Christmas, of course. And then uh, we had the crushed dip, but we also had a drumstick uh, cookies and cream on a stick. It wasn't mm. a cone. It was on a like stick. Like a popsicle. But with the drumstick name. We also had the drumstick cereals. Mm -hmm. Remember that, the drumstick cereals? And they have the drumstick ice cream that comes in the little uh, tub as well. So we've had a lot more than I thought under that drumstick name. Um, These are a pass unless you just want to try something new. Well, and it's really, it's not that, I wish you got more cookies on top. You just, no. you really don't get, I mean, you see a bump, a bump here of a cookie there. here and there, but nothing to warrant a whole new box. 
they could have honestly kept these in the old box and you would have never known any difference, would you? No. You, you would have like, hmm, what that little crunchy thing was, no deal. But that would be it because you only get one every now and then. So if I were you, I would just keep buying what you're used to yeah, buying. Yeah. I wouldn't buy them just because they say they're new. No, I wouldn't either. They're good. They're just nothing special. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching.